Hi all, welcome to Freshers for YouTube channel on jobs and career. This is Ganesh and today I am going to tell you few MS Excel tips where it can be useful for both professional and students. So let's move forward to the first problem here. What it is asking like see in a new workbook create a column for marks and whenever you enter the data different colors should come based on criteria mentioned below. So they have given us a small criteria here. You all can see I and so what is asking like if I pu put enter any data here according to the condition which they have given to us it should change its color on the base of this criteria like if I put less than 35 suppose 25 I put the color should be red here got it. So for this problem what the solution so I will give you a just simple solution here like conditional formatting we will use here conditional formatting you all use conditional formatting for this purpose we will use as a new rule okay that I will explain later while using that formula okay so what you will put you will we will go for if condition and there are some suggestion box also like if you don't remember the formula or what like if you put i also then also you can see if condition can come there okay so just press tab also tab also you can put tab that it will ask logic test it means what the condition you want if the value is true or false you can mention here okay so let's go if this cell this cell because we have to put marks here this cell is less than because the condition they have given earlier is less than 35 remember that less than 35 then the value will be true yeah otherwise it should be false okay enter so if I put 25 here it becomes true let's try number more than 35 36 foot you can see it changes to false so now how this formula can help you okay by F2 also you can go to the formula and can add it there also okay so first copy this formula have you copied copy it then what you have to do like here we have to put conditional format so choose this cell go to conditional formatting new rule I have told you earlier also in this choose this bar use a formula to determine which cell to format okay so just simply paste your formula here and format it format in the sense like we have to give red color you know they have given condition earlier also red okay okay and okay so now see here if I put 25 again what happens it changes to red got it my point so now on now this we will move forward to second condition here now you see carefully it tells us two conditions are there it should be greater than 35 and less than 60 okay so let's do it equals to if this cell should greater than 35 okay and now what now again there is one condition so we'll put if again here if this same cell is less than 60 I think yeah 60 the value should be true okay and if not it should be false okay got it yes now again what you have to do we will try here first like if I put 25 also then also it falls let's try a number greater than 35 mm, take it 57 see true less than 60 we have taken 57 so again F2 will put here we will type F2 copy this formula again go to condition format, format cell now see here we have to do it blue okay remember that now go to new rule use formula paste it here format you all know like blue we have to do blue okay okay see blue came if I put 25 then it will not come because the condition will be false okay so blue now last last condition we have here it should be greater than 60 and less than or equals to 100 okay for this also let's type I think you guys will know better than me now equals to if 
this same this cell is greater than 60 comma again if this cell now see less than and equals to because it is given here guys less than or equals to 100 so we put 100 the value will be true otherwise it will be false right enter again so let's try with 55 false again if we try let's say 77 it will become true got it so again we will copy this by pressing F2 F2 you can go to the formula okay for copying you can just copy by from this formula bar also or you can copy just from here also both ways you can do copy it then again go to conditional format cell here what we have to do green new rule use formula put your formula here go to format green we have to do so select green okay okay so it came green okay and second thing in this is like if you select this no you can manage rules from here only you can see all rules you can manage here you can edit these rules or delete these rules it depend on you how to use it got it so now we'll move forward to our second topic so now let's come to our second problem here the question is if the day is within 15 put output within 15 days others output let it more than 15 days as you all guys remember in previous problem we have done if condition with true and false only got it now in if condition only you can give your own comments also let's see how it will happen equals to if this see here it question is given you have to give output within 15 days because it is less than or if more than 15 then you have to give more than 15 days so the days we have given here select this cell cell this cell is less than 15 then if it is less than 15 then we have to give it within 15 days close the quotes if it is false then it should be more than 15 days done see it will come as more than 15 days in this now you can do drop down see you will get all answer in one shot got it my point see if you change this value also it will change accordingly like you put 14 it will change within 15 days so let's move to the our third problem so moving towards our third problem we have here look the data and remove the blanks so they have given a data here we have to remove the blanks from it what you can do you just simply select this whole row and delete it like you this way you can remove all the blanks i pretty much sure okay how many times you will do it for a big data got my point so for this particular problem i have a solution for you in excel we have a function go to for that first select the range then press ctrl g for going to go to function or otherwise you can press f5 also okay you have reached that page now go press specials here in this block you can see there is an option here which are written as blank choose that okay then click it will automatically select all those cells which are blank for this now just press ctrl minus for deleting all the blanks see how simple is this as similar we have different sheet in this excel which is have a data set here okay for this data what you have to do same as these blanks are there you have to fill this blank with their upper headings okay so in this also the, you have two options are there uh, first is you can drop down for each cell like this otherwise you can just copy and paste here so this function you cannot use in such a big data 
I think it will take you a lot of time and efforts. Okay. So for that, I have a simple trick. Just select the range as we have done earlier also. Then go to press special, select the blanks. Yeah, select the blanks. Now see, equals to select the upper cell which heading you want to paste. Then press control enter. See, is done. You can see all the headings are done. Generally, what it do? It copies its upper heading and pastes below. See, okay. So that's it for today, guys. I hope it is interesting and helpful for you. In the next videos, I am going to explain few more easy tips. So kindly do follow this series. If you are looking for any job, kindly do register at Freshers World and do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.